Matter 1.0 was officially launched back in October and now firmware updates are arriving this month. In this video, I'm going to take you through seven things that will help you understand what Matter 1.0 means for HomeKit. We will cover what you need to get started, the difference between connectivity protocols, how to set up a device, and categories that are supported. Along with this, I'm going to take you through the impacts Matter could have on features only found in HomeKit, performance, and finally privacy. I just want to point out this video is only applicable to Matter 1.0. Future versions are arriving in 2023 and I will update this series as part of that. So very briefly, what is Matter? Well, Matter is a universal standard designed to simplify buying, connecting, and using smart home devices for the end user. The Matter standard uses a common language that's local to your home and doesn't rely on the cloud, meaning more than one smart ecosystem or voice assistant can control your devices. This means you are not tied to one smart home ecosystem with Matter certified devices. So you could start out with Google Home, and if you wanted, you could move over to Apple HomeKit. You can also use multiple smart home ecosystems at home so if one person prefers Amazon Alexa and another prefers HomeKit, then you can run both at the same time with Matter certified devices. Now I have more on Matter and what it means in my opinion for HomeKit and there's a link coming above now to that video. So let's now look at the basics and what you need to get started. In order to get started with using Matter in your smart home and home kit, you need a number of things. First, and the most obvious, is a device that supports Matter. You'll also either need an iPhone or an iPad running iOS 16.2 or above. To add and control Matter devices, you need a Matter controller. Matter controller support is built into Apple's operating systems like iPad, iPhone, and Mac, and all the flagship smart speakers and devices including the Apple HomePod Mini and the Apple TV 4K. If you want remote access to your devices like you do in HomeKit today, you need to choose a Matter controller which is ideally a device that is always in your home, always powered on and has a direct connection to your home network. It's worth noting that Matter controllers aren't necessarily Matter devices and this is really important to understand as right now you cannot control say a Samsung family hub fridge with your HomePod Mini. If you plan to use Matter over Thread devices such as the Eve Motion or the Eve Energy, then you need a Thread border router such as the HomePod Mini, the Apple TV 4K second generation, and the Apple TV 4K third generation, the 128 gigabyte version. And they also need to be updated to the latest operating system. That final point takes me on to connectivity and hubs. So Matter is a standard, and this runs over several connectivity protocols. The first being Matter over Wi-Fi. This connectivity protocol runs over your existing Wi-Fi network. So in short, your Wi-Fi router, your home device makers will typically use Wi-Fi for higher bandwidth devices such as TVs or streaming devices but you'll also see device makers using Wi-Fi for products like light bulbs humidifiers and when they don't want to use a hub in the home the next is matter over thread thread is a wireless connectivity standard that has received some attention since Apple introduced the HomePod mini back in October 2020 since then the list of HomeKit devices that support thread has grown thread is great for energy efficient and low bandwidth devices. It can also extend beyond the range of Wi-Fi and into low coverage areas. Plus, the more devices you add to your thread network, in theory, the more stable and reliable it comes. The last one is Matter over Ethernet. And like Wi-Fi, this is used again for high bandwidth devices such as TVs or streaming devices. It's also used in the main for hubs such as the Philips U or the new IKEA gateway. However, unlike Wi-Fi or thread that works wirelessly, Ethernet requires physical cables around your home, but the advantage of this with Ethernet, the connection is normally very stable and bandwidth availability is normally very high. Now, whichever connectivity standard you choose, you need to make the right decision that's right for you and your home. I'm personally moving most of my buying decisions with thread in mind, and this was before matter was even a factor in my consideration. Now, moving on to categories that are supported in HomeKit. With over 290 members of the connectivity standard, as Alliance, this is the body that governs the Matter standard, including Apple, Google, and Amazon. The effort to bring us to the standard 1.0 has been used. However, that said, the initial standard release is limited, with only a few device categories supported, but all of these are currently supported in HomeKit. So in the short term, HomeKit is not getting any new device categories. However,
However, the CSA announced that it was aiming for biannual release cycles for updates. The CSA said that work on cameras, appliances, energy management, and robot vacuums is on the list to get up updated and addressed in future versions. So based on the current Mata launch, we should expect to see the next updates to arrive around March 23. But what remains to be seen is if the device categories will be available via the Apple OMAP, or we'll have to wait until iOS 17. Now, if you want to learn more about Mata and all the categories available and what may be coming in the future, there's a video coming now where I covered the Mata launch event back in November. Now, before we continue with this video, if you're liking this video and you want to know more about HomeKit, then don't forget to check out the rest of the channel. And if you want to be part of this community, then it'd be greatly appreciated if you hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also, don't forget to check us out on our social channels at Follow HomeKit on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Now let's get back into the video and let's look at how to set up a device. Right now, and due to the transition, users will be faced with two ways to set up devices. This is simply because devices released prior to the Matter standard being launched will need a firmware update. So in the case the device is updated to Matter via a firmware update, then users will need to generate a setup code within the app and copy and paste it across a relevant app that is used by the ecosystem for device commissioning. So in the case of Apple Home, you'll first need to create a setup code via the manufacturer's app. And in some cases, this can be scanned and in others, you need to scan it from another device. Then all you need to do is follow the setup process as you would before. But when devices start to ship with Matter out of the box, the accessory will have a Matter setup code. In this case, you'll scan the code via the OMAP and then continue as you would and follow the normal setup process as you would with any other smart accessory. NFC pairing will be an option for some devices in the future, letting you tap the device with your phone and some platforms will support auto detection. So your phone will just see there is a device ready to be paired and prompt you to add it. Now a quick tip when adding devices to Matter, and as I've already mentioned, you'll be given a new setup code if it's a device that was available prior to Matter being launched. This is the Matter code and like HomeKit codes, you need to keep these safe if you need to set up the device again. So I found you can add them in OwnPass, which is a very handy and inexpensive app. There's links in the description below to that app. You can use the custom fields in the app to save the Matter code. And later in 2023, the developer confirmed Matter code backup will be coming as an update. Let's now take a look at HomeKit features once you've updated to Matter. But before we move on, you first need to understand the difference between Apple Home versus the HomeKit framework. HomeKit is the framework that houses the unique features that we love or hate. These features like HomeKit adaptive lighting and secure video are unique to the HomeKit framework. Apple Home is a layer on top and is essentially the OMAP. This is what we see as users for device connected, either via HomeKit framework or Matter. Now in this case, Matter exposes devices to Apple Home on iOS, iPadOS, and macOS. Now the first thing to point out is some HomeKit only features are not available via Matter. Two of the devices I've been testing from lighting manufacturers, with one of them currently that supports adaptive lighting via HomeKit, Kit. During my testing, I found this feature was not available when exposed via Matter, and this is because Matter does not support HomeKit adaptive lighting. You also could lose the ability to add devices directly back to HomeKit. When a device is updated to Matter, it can lose the ability to be added back to HomeKit directly. In the main, this is not an issue because Matter still exposes the device to Apple Home, so you can still control the device via the OMAP, setup automations, and use Siri. But because you cannot roll back to HomeKit only, then you could lose the ability to use features like adaptive lighting permanently or until Matter supports it. The next thing I want to talk about is will Matter improve my device performance? During my testing, I have seen no conclusive evidence that Matter will address smart home performance. This is because Matter is a standard to bring everything together, rather than necessarily a way to transport data. I have already mentioned the different connectivity protocols earlier on in the video, and one of these is Thread. And based on my testing, this performs better than Bluetooth in most instances. And in some instances, it can perform better than Wi-Fi devices. But this connectivity standard has been around before Matter was even launched and it was available in HomeKit for some time. So it's not necessarily a Matter related improvement. But with that said, Thread being one of the connectivity protocols then I would personally recommend as much as possible using these devices that connect via thread. In terms of Wi-Fi, again, I've seen no evidence in Matter that Wi-Fi devices are faster or easy to connect or more responsive. In fact, and this might be obvious to some, 
If you're using an ISP supplied router that is designed for moderate use, but you have over 50 smart home devices connected, then things are not going to be stable and you'll still have perform network performance regardless if you've updated to Matter or not. So in my view, Matter alone will not solve poor device connectivity issues. If you have issues, then you need to look to invest in either thread devices or move to something like a mesh Wi-Fi network based on the Wi-Fi 6 standard as a minimum in order to look to improve your smart home performance. So what about privacy? In terms of privacy, Matter operates entirely local over IP, but it doesn't rely on an internet connection to run. And this is the same as it is in HomeKit today. So nothing really changes there. But just like HomeKit, it's designed to allow devices to talk to cloud services if the manufacturer requires a device to do so. And again, this is pretty much the same as HomeKit is today. Everything runs locally, but the device manufacturers can still allow their app to talk to the cloud in order to use some unique features that sit outside of HomeKit and in this case Matter. So other than providing remote access to your HomeKit setup via a Home Hub, you do not need to let any device talk to the open internet. This, as I've already said though, unless you need specific manufacturer design features, and in this case, you need to decide if you trust that manufacturer with your data or not. Now I have done a video on HomeKit Secure Router and a way to lock down your smart home and the link is becoming above now. So to summarize this video, I view Matter as a promising development for the smart home and I'm very interested to see how it plays out. But in my view for HomeKit Apple Home, it's not going to rock the world in the short term. In the short term, I don't think HomeKit users will see much benefit. We already have a platform that is easy set up, relatively stable, and it's privacy focused, which is some of the things that Matter is designed to address. However, if you have multiple voices assistant house, then you can benefit from being able to control devices in your home using Siri and Alexa at the same time. The other benefit is access to hopefully a larger device choice and more importantly, lower device costs. And we're already starting to see some of those brands announcing Matter support, which will then expose them to Apple Home and will get access to cheaper brands. But before you jump into Matter with existing devices, understand the impact on your current setup before you update them to support Matter. Ultimately, if you do not plan to use another ecosystem like Alexa or Google, then it's best to stick with the HomeKit firmware on the device and do not update because you will lose some of the features like HomeKit Adaptive Lighting. And later on down the line, if they don't support HomeKit Secure Video, HomeKit Secure Video, in most cases, you will not be able to roll back the firmware in order for that device to support HomeKit natively. Later down the line, we should see deeper impacts to HomeKit, particularly around new device categories. I'm certainly looking forward to this and seeing what becomes available, particularly robot vacuums and home appliances. So guys, that's a wrap on this video. Hopefully you found it useful and you've got better insight into what matter means for HomeKit and how to get started. If you do have a question or a comment, leave it below and I'll try and get back to you if I know the answer. If you've liked the video, it'd be greatly appreciated if you give me a thumbs up. And also, if you want to stick around and be part of this community, then hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified when new videos come out. Also check out our social media channels at Follow HomeKit on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.